I keep on hearing about it, but I still haven't had time to dwell into it much. What is compressed sensing? Compressed sensing is a way of acquiring signals with the prior knowledge that the signals of interest are sparse. Compressed sensing can also be reframed as a linear algebra statement. One can find a solution to an underdetermined linear system of equations on the condition that we have the prior knowledge that the unknown solution is sparse. But we all know that it is impossible. An undetermined system has fewer equations than unknowns, and we all know from linear algebra 101 that there are generally an infinite number of solutions for these systems. Yes. But if we add the constraint that the solution must be sparse then compressed sensing techniques allow you to recover that sparse solution. I see. So when this technique is used in signal processing, the number of equations of this underdetermined system is the same as the number of compressed sensing samples. Yes. But in compressed sensing, there is no free lunch. Because each equation yields a measurement, the compressed sensing samples or measurements are really linear combinations of normal samples. In signal processing, one could view each linear combination as a multiplexing operation. Okay. You talked about compressed, and you made the point that you had fewer equations in your linear system or fewer measurements in your multiplexed operation, but how much fewer are we talking about? The big finding is that the number of measurements required to recover the original signal or the number of equations is dependent on the sparsity of the solution or the signal. It is also weakly dependent on the number of variables or unknowns. Wow. So I would expect that there are some type of constraints on these underdetermined systems or multiplexing operations. I mean not all underdetermined systems are supposed to yield a solution, even if the solution is known to be sparse. Right. You are right. This is currently the subject of much research. For instance, one of the first condition featured in the literature is called the Restricted Isometry Property or RIP. It is a sufficient condition, and it is also NP-hard to check for a given matrix. However, this RIP property is known to hold for certain families of matrices such as random Gaussian matrices or some Toplitz matrices. The set is actually pretty large. Okay. So if we can map these matrices to the sensing process, or to the linear system of interest, we have a compressed sensing process? Yes. So. After I have obtained these measurements, or have this underdetermined system of equations, how do I solve for them? In the past few years, many different nonlinear algorithms have popped up. They have improved tremendously, and much current efforts go into making them scale to very large problems. Great. How do I find more about them? Where do I start? The Compressed Sensing Group at Rice University has a site that lists all the relevant information. There is also the blog called Nui Blanche that updates nearly daily on the subject. With the blog there are also several pages that provide a more static view on the daily developments in the field. Thanks. Bye. Bye.